Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see a simple example, something like set timeout function, which is available in the JavaScript. Actually, it is not available in the JavaScript, it is provided by the DOM. So you'll see with a simple example with the set timeout, and also we will use window.open method to open a web page through the DOM. We'll try to see it. Let's have the html template i am taking the html5 template and here i am trying to show dom and javascript so we can access the dom in the javascript let's say that here we will see the difference between the dom and javascript okay so this is the example which i am trying to do so what i want to do is so here click the below button click the below button to open the leela web dev channel like this so here i am i'll be having a button so button click here i can have a button let's try to see the output how the output will look like if you see the output here let's open this one in the open live server yeah i have opened i have opened this one in the open live server so here I, we are having the text you will see the difference between the dom and the javascript and also here i am checking the click the below button to open the leela web dev channel so my requirement here is when i click on this button i need to open a new window okay and your pop-up needs to come with new window and it needs to open the leela web dev channel so let's try to see this one so here when i click on this button i need to open this channel right so here we have a like this on click so there are so many ways which we can handle this on click listener so we already have seen in our previous videos this on click and all those things we have seen add event listener like this also we can use it but i am trying to show you the easiest method so we'll try to proceed with this on click is equal to and here i can write a method new window so whenever we click on this button it should open a it should call this function new window now let's say try to see this one here i am going to the inspect element and i am going to the console and in this console if i click on this one it is telling that new window is not defined yes correct so we have no function with the name we new window is defined so let's try to implement this new window function so here i can add directly the script tag here and in this one i can use function new window and here we can write it so let's try to do the console whether this one will work or not okay so i am using this hi okay. now let's see the output if i click or refresh this page and if i click here hi we are able to see this hi function right so hi we are able to see this hi text in the console so that means our method is calling the new window function is calling now what i will do so here we are having console.log of i and i will remove this one so we need to open a new web page so that means new pop-up i need to open with something like youtube.com so slash lila web dev channel our channel we need to open in a new web page so what can i do here so let's take a url so that url is nothing but https or anything you can use it youtube.com slash leela web dev so this is our channel so now i want to open it so the, in the window object you have a method you have a property that is nothing but window dot open so here you need to provide the first parameter is the url and the second one is whether you want to open in the new tab or the same tab like that so we can probably can keep it as an empty and the third one is the attributes whatever the things you want to give the attributes like width i want to keep it as 500 and also height i want to keep it as 300 something like this so like this we can give it so this is the window dot open so now when i open this one let's see what will happen so now if i try to refresh this page if i click on this one a new window has been opened with youtube.com lila web dev so it is trying to open the youtube.com lila web dev channel so it is working fine fine right so we are able to see this leela web dev channel now what i want to do is 
after 5 seconds i want to auto close this one after 5 seconds i want to auto close this window so how can i close this window so here i can take it let window open window open is equal to like this we can take one you are one variable and here i can write set timeout set timeout so this is the method and here this is the implementation es6 syntax implementation and after 5000 so that means 5 seconds 5000 milliseconds so here i can use like this and here we have window open dot close so we have a method close that's it so let's see that whether it will work or not so if i try to see here if i refresh this page and i'm clicking on this window so we have got a new pop-up with youtube.com lila web dev and automatically after five seconds it has been closed so this is how it will work so now here what i want to tell you is so what is javascript code and what is the dom code so we have seen the dom and everything is provided by the dom api so this is not available in the javascript so javascript is a programming language and javascript doesn't have the access to the dom so if you want to access the dom is the dom api acts as a bridge between the dom and the javascript we have seen these all the things now here what is the dom code and what is the javascript code is here is this set timeout if you try to see this set timeout this entire thing is in dom code so this set timeout is provided by the dom api so not it is not present in the javascript and also if you try to see window.open this one is also provided by the window object and the, in return this window object is provided by the dom api so now what is the javascript code is the variable declaration so this variable declaration whichever we are using either let constant where or anything so this is the javascript code and here window.open.close this all the dom code only here we are using this arrow syntax right so this is a javascript syntax so this is a javascript code and here implementation these all things are this function and all these things are javascript code so here we are having some dom code okay and also some javascript syntax code so the combination of javascript and the dom and the dom combinedly combinedly represents the, the combinedly represents this code so here you need to understand that set timeout is not a part of the javascript code it is a dom api method and window.a open is also dom api method and the variable declaration the function declaration and also this arrow syntax so these all things are javascript code so like this we can dissect the code which belongs to the javascript and which belongs to the dom so now that's all so we have seen about the set timeout and what is the code related to the dom and what is the code actually the javascript we have seen it for example let's say that i want to show you another thing also so i already told you that the dom is not specially designed for the javascript so java the dom we can we so you you can't think you you should not think like that that the javascript can only access the dom so don't think like that so dom is not designed for accessing only the javascript so if you want to access the dom it can be accessed by any other programming language also for example i will show you one small demo not demo i will show you one small example for example here we are having this one right so if you try to get document dot body so you will be able to get all the body okay so here we are having children's one two three something like children's we are having right so let's try to take document dot body dot children so we are able to get something like as an array so div div three and script we are able to get it so let's try to store it in one variable where is it an array is equal to document dot body dot children okay so this one is array now i want to use some array properties like slice is it an array dot slice of 0 comma 1 so i this is the slice thing so it is showing an error that slice method is not a function but here document dot body dot children is returning a something like array like structure right so this is the thing you need to understand so the dom whichever it is returning is not actually an array so it is a bit little bit cum cumbersome you need to understand that for example let's say that where x is equal to or where arr is equal to i am trying to use 1 2 comma 3 comma 4 so arr dot slice of 0 comma 1 if i try to use 0 comma 1 means 
now i'm able to slice the array so that means this is actually an array and all the array properties and all the array methods are able to work on this arr property whereas i am trying to use the same properties in this one is it an array it is not working so that is the reason that is the thing you need to understand so the dom whatever the data is returning is not a javascript array so it's a bit it's a bit little bit of uh, different you need to understand it so that that array is not a javascript thing so you you can uh, so you should understand this one so you cannot apply these all javascript array properties and all those things in the dom written methods so that means like this you need to understand that whatever the dom is returning is not a javascript method so that is the thing you need to understand so this is all what i want to tell you about is one hope you understood about this dom and the javascript the difference the code difference which is the dom code and which is the javascript code if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you